investment. Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EGA Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. I'm a consultant for this noble company, Sino Magilla Company. This is a company that is here to stop our people crying again for their land being degraded due to sand mining. This company is to assist, prevent what happened in Faraba Bantang some years back. I think most of us will remember what happened. I don't want to go into that history, but the company came to make sure we have an alternative to the previous sand mining we were having in this country. You know, Majilak, two years ago, started this process and wanted to make sure that we the dredge sand offshore, bring it onshore for, the, for people to use it and not to destroy our environment. All of us know what happened in Tujereng, in Sanyang, in uh, Sambuya, Aoba Kachume. Go there now. The people lost their land. They lost their farmlands. Even the seashore is being affected. When we live here, I will humbly ask you to go inside this and you will see how much sand is being pumped out and you will not see any destruction of the nature you, we all see or we saw in those areas I just earlier mentioned. 
But the, this occasion today, we call in these women. They were the women farming in this area. They were doing rice farming. The company never even came to say, we want to specifically use this area. No. It was given to the company, allocated to the company by the government. What other companies did previously, what other companies did previously, when you are giving land, you don't mind whoever is there, whatever livelihood is being engaged there, it is given to you by government, you just take the land and use it what you intend it to do. This is a company of difference. What they did, they came in, found the woman here, took an inventory of whoever is here or who were here. We were given a list of women. I think if my memory is right, Mr. Yeah, it's about 11 of them. With their support group, it would have been more than that. But initially, 11 women were using it as a, as a rice field. The company promised them that although the area is being allocated to them by government, they are Muslims, they are Gambians, they are humble. If they can prevent the destruction of land, they are not for the animals there and the trees to suffer and to be destroyed. They will not do that to the women here also. So they will make sure these women also will not cry. And they told them, as far as we are going to be operating here, we will make sure you are never forgotten. That was why the women in July were given rice, they were given money, and they were told, Every year, the company will be coming here to support them. But the company now is doing more than that. In less than one year again, they are here for the month of Ramadan. They are giving the women rice and money again. It is not a cult for this company to always demonstrate whatever they are giving. We don't want to go into the quantities we give. We don't want to display. However, be informed that twice the number of women that are private, that number of rice has been given to them. And again, we are demonstrating that. And money also is in that form. The women will be speaking for themselves. You will know. So that is why we said, this is a charity for Ramadan for them. It's part of our compensation package. That is why we are here. We want to thank all of you as journalists to make sure we, to show you that we are a company with difference. We are here giving out to people whom you know we thought are somehow affected by our operations. So we thank you very much for your attendance. First of all, I want to take this opportunity on behalf of uh, Sino Magilak Jalbak to thank you all for coming for the women beneficiaries of this uh, gift here today uh, for also taking time off out of their schedules to be here today with us and obviously the media fraternity for raising this occasion and uh, our associates that are all seated here uh, with us and the founders uh, of the company are also here with us here today. Now, in line with the values, or if you will, of the uh, uh, intentions of the founders of the company, a decision is made that the gift itself, even though the media can bear witness to it, and the women here, obviously, that are benefiting from it, or, um, are here with the gift, uh, we don't want to have the, the actual gift shown. Obviously, it's a gift of rice and uh, cash. So... Um, what the reason for this occasion to be here today, and I think Suarez alluded to it, uh, uh, in fact, went in depth into that, which is that the, these women, wonderful women, used to farm uh, uh, on this land.
They used to grow rice there, the, the land that we are occupying now, Chasano Majilak uh, Jalba. Now, as part of our corporate social responsibility, uh, we put them on top of our priority list. We haven't necessarily even started operations officially yet, but uh, because of our values and because we believe that it is important that um, we continue to, uh, we, we, we get involved in supporting our communities in which we operate, we've decided to put them uh, on top of our priority list, like I said, which is why we are here today. Uh, the rice yield that they used to have from this land here, we've decided we're going to be uh, compensating them for those yields uh, on a yearly basis uh, for, for, for life, pretty much, as we've, we've put it. Um, and that's because it is important to make sure that when you come in as a corporation into a community, that whatever you do, that you don't also take the lives and livelihoods of people away from them. Now, they don't own the land, and uh, we, we don't necessarily have to do this, if you will. But we feel it is very, very important uh, to really make sure that these women are taken care of, uh, that they, they are provided for, that we play no part in uh, them being denied their living or uh, 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 their livelihoods for that matter. So again, uh, we want to thank them for their cooperation and having worked with us all this time. They've been really wonderful, if, it's, if, I, if I might add. Um, we've always had a wonderful, wonderful relationship with them. Uh, so in, in fact, one of our, our founders, uh, Alaji Samate, is, is, is fond of saying they, he's always on the phone with, with, with quite a lot of them uh, because they cannot believe. Because the, the, the usual tradition here in this country is that corporations come, take over land, they don't care who owns it and how it, I mean, uh, who has been farming on it or what the history is. They just do whatever they want to do. But with us, we don't want to be part of that kind of system. We want to make sure that whatever we do, we do it ethically, we do it responsibly, we do it justly, and we do it uh, in, a, in a safe fashion. And uh, to, to, to be a part of good citizens of this country as part of our nation building process. So again, I want to thank you. Um, in the meantime, before we uh, conclude here, I would like to invite uh, uh, Alaji uh, Samate to uh, chime in some few words Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm content to have you here. I'm content to have you here. I'm content to have you here. Gifts received from you. I'm totally content to have you here. Simply because I'm going to get you. Sanji fula koma nung kabiri nga nying kuwa fale. Alman batandi. Kabiri na atandi amuta ali al kontrol beka ole dua. And al tuta dua la. Jamaa ba al kono. Hani saan lungo lungi sen kumandi. Ibn kumandi la message of Dolphin and Booker, you know, but you are to add this and command the message of Bulanica Dua Kenya. Ninga Mira or Langaming, I mean, can be from Odo Atam Felly. But Yalo Mando Kofan and that Hanisa and Kabin Salunko, Sanjifula, and Mando Kodat, Ningalas on the Samin Bedo Kodat, and do not you water at all bear by Della and Kamin Faleno, Betambela in the back of Baga, some Bafala, be a lava, a Kayamu. I let Dua continue and told Sulata Dua, and you join me and put a Janaming among easy because Ninsifa are Manta Gambia. So, you know, at Bodim Borum was here, I call Colata, but Alhamdulillah, I am Felem Futakang, Lafa Futada Dami, and the Nim Futada Jay, Nim Kol Pisata, Pisala and Bele, Allah Barakabaka, thank you very much. Aslam Alekum Warahmatullah, Alhamdulillah, Hirabel Alamin, Manglana Gerem Yenyep, Sisen Tewai, Digerem Sun Jigeni, Sun Yayin Te, Tajefi Te. Parce que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait, et nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait. Nous avons vu que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait. Nous avons vu que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait. Nous avons vu que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait. Nous avons vu que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait. Mais si nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait, nous avons vu que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait. Nous avons vu que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait. 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 C'était incroyable. C'était très touché. Et après que nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait, nous avons fait ce que nous avons fait. 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 Pourquoi pas nous compenser ni nyep leaders ces engiri dunda l'indan amfi nous continuer de quoi am parce que aduna 
kolare la ak yegante te jamma dafa neex te li gëna bon ci liggey moy liggey bu and ak akha ki nga fekk ci place momuko way yalla fa la defone wor sa gam so ñëwé bu ko fa génné nang ko def ci jamma ak salam ak ci xol bu sédda so ñu waxtaana ñom bes biñ leen waxé loolu ñom ñep dañ doon fecca fi lañ nekkon ñima andal ni sédé ngeen ko ñom suwaré té ñun tam fas nañ éné né as long as suñ project bi mu ngay dem on dinañ continuer di leen jox lañ daan am ci suuf sañ daan bey parce que am yalla moy jël wor sa geni jaarale ko sa loxo té liñ leena jox du suñ man man du suñ alel seen wor sa bu leen yalla jaglel la ñun ñu delo leen ko so liñ mëna def rek moy continuer di leen gërem di leen sante di leen ñaanal yalla may leen wër may leen katan may leen gudafan bañ yaga di jëflante ak ñom ba pare di leen gërem bu baaxa baaxa ba ci ñom itam ci liñ continuer di ñu ñaanal waxtu bu nekk ci saxallahu khairan jere ngeen jëf mo min bebe sirin jaay to ni kontawal da to muretu manelati be bundu bundu nga ko nda a mba ma ñol kata la baal la muyte ya kata baakele ka dun te baama min kata muriyama sanita ti jang mbelo ri ngay jang amang ken dia sa fo ñim faro a folo te tel le bul e tel le ya folo dol na tay na ta ma be je bari ala ka wakila ka yalla non te mo dia mo no baake waye nak a company ñin de machallah gambenol be ka ñine duwa ye mol soto milliard long ko a mol le muyte mum mo gambe di ngol te gambe di ken dol ye tara kudo isi la family le samono nyaami isi mol dul fanam blandi no akono nyaami mbe tendula mbe jeela ala barka baake mali konton na tol nal konton la konton di roko la me mbe ndija wala mo nyon kay roti e dul fanam meta janne nga nyu tara janne dul folo ta jang dul ye no ma dul ye no katu na ke bal men bo ta jang bi ni mam mo tara ni wulan ko natul men nati jall mam mo tara jeng kalte mo ni nen kal ali be lolo la la je men di yatal ya ya ke di ban ni aje ka chabe ke je ali mo le tara je korda ni me ke ba bo ta je dindin ta je akati nyaal ge ka teyle yo ala natan di ma ke bal bo ta je ndel saite no to fal nata ali en tara je nal ka chata fom be biyo men ko no e ndol nal la ka chani biite mam man ni ku ya so ta je fokal tentu kal jey ka duwa ñoye alama kompino yirwa alama yirwa la alaka na wo si bula ñola amen ngam en duwa ji alama alay o keñi alani mpo kaw banko jaara banko bara bu ngi kembu san sara san ma sta lola folon ni duwa jabo nal ni fal la duwa makka ni madina la ila kumo hormona barkoto salmut karim yo mr samade yes uh, can you tell us the concept of you know Uh, given lifetime compensation to this woman because we have seen other institutions or organizations taking people's land they don't give them even a single compensation but why your institution come with this initiative okay thank you very much um when we came here about two years ago we found some women farming here doing rice it wasn't annual but uh, every other year they would be farming rice here and the land was allocated to us by the government and we understand that other people when they do have this kind of opportunity they forget about the people who are making a living and in their living at that place and i am gambian personally i was born in bakau and uh, my family came from kiang so i have family members even now aunts and other people my mom used to do they do a lot of gardening i know how they suffer in their farms they work very hard they make a living and some of them help their children go to school take care of their households so just to get the women out of this place without giving them anything it doesn't feel too right so myself and my partners we sat we talked about it we said no we cannot do that you know this is where they were making their living so now we're going to make things even better for them and by making it better for them we ask them what do they you know what 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 sort of earning do they get here every year and what they told us is uh, they told us the amount of rice they make here when they work very hard and uh, we decided to give them more than what they make here every every year you know so this is how the initiative come you know so from last year 
We've given them some rice and some cash, some money, and this year again, we've not, you've seen, we've started work, but we've not started selling anything. We've not started making money. We've spent millions of dollars on this site and the project. But yet still, we've given, this is the second time we've given them something. You know, we haven't made any money yet. So, but we want them to pray for us so we can make money. This is the Gambia. I mean, if you're making millions out of a project, what does it take to give a few hundred thousand so to other, other people in, within the society? You know, if you're making millions. How many, how many businesses do we see here? A lot of them are making a lot of money. But they come kick out the women or the local folks, give them nothing, take everything away. What is the point? You know, so this is not us. We are here, you've seen what we've done. And as long as this project is successful, even if it is not successful, we will try and help them as much as we can. But if it is successful, you will see a difference. And this is how it's supposed to be in all the project sites within the country. Thank you very much. Okay, um, talking about you know, having millions in a project, why, how did this concept of you know, bringing a modern day of sand mining to the Gambia start? Sand dredges. Sand dredges. Mining is a big potential. Okay. <laughs> Dredging, I'm sure you remember the Faraba incident. Yes. You know, and uh, you know what is brewing in the Gunjur, Sanyang, Tujereng, and the Kachume and uh, Katong area. You know, all their farmland is gone, and uh, there's no sand there, there's no sand left, and there's no land for farming. And the land that they farm, you can see it. If you go now, you will see it is degraded in such a way that you cannot even farm there, you cannot even build hotels there. So it's just left like that. And this is a problem. We have been away, we've seen what is, what, has, what is happening in other countries outside, and we think this could work here. And this was the initiative of the leader, the country, the leader of the country, who thought after the Faraba incident, there should be something, something should be done about it. And he's con he contacted, uh, or he's, you know, through a conversation, spoke to one of my partners, you know, who told him we can do this. We can solve this sand problem. You know, the problem, the Faraba incident, after the Faraba incident, what happened? Have we solved the problem? Is there any other alternatives? No, this is the only alternative. And this we think is going to work and is going to solve that problem. So those kind of sand mining, we're hoping that it will be a thing of the, of the past. We intend to engage the people that are working at those mines to be engaged here so they can all be making a continuous living. But that type of sand mining, I think we should forget about that now because Gambia is very small and we don't have the land to do that kind of mining. All right. Any Just for the record, the land that you see behind me, right there, you can zoom your cameras, that's where the women that we just um, dealt with, this is where they used to earn their livelihood, and here is where they used to work. Um, we found them here cultivating rice. And when this land was given to us, by allocated to us for the project that we're doing for sand dredging, we decided to come and find them on the land and we consulted with them and we explained to them what we're going to be doing and why we were allocated the land. Hence the birth of the, um, our, our corporate social responsibility where we decided that we're going to be compensating them for the rest of their lives for the rice that they used to cultivate on the land that we've been allocated. Um, it doesn't cost much, but that act makes a big difference. And for Sino Majilak Jalbak, our ultimate objective of operating or setting up in Gambia is to make a difference to society and to people's lives. So this is just one of many initiatives that are in the pipeline that we will be looking into going into the future. But for those women for now, this is the second year that we are compensating them to give them more than their harvest from what they used to have on a land that we were legally allocated for our project. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, okay. Do you, are you doing this so that other people who are, you know, taking people's land to also, you know, emulate you to give a lifetime compensation to the landowners? Because it's, even though these people, they don't own the land, but you tried, you know, uh, and in, you launched an initiative to give them a lifetime compensation. No, you see, um, we're, not, we, we're not doing this for anybody to copy. We're not doing this for the eye of society. Um, I've worked in many countries. If you go to Europe, all companies have a corporate social responsibility. If you go to the Middle East, all companies have corporate social responsibility, even in some African countries. In Gambia, companies can come in 
and operate carte blanche and do what they want without adding anything to society. That is for society to decide. That's not for Omar Jain to talk about. I, I run my business based on my own business ethics and my own consents. What we did for the women, we did it because as a team, we agreed that they deserve this. So whether other, Gam other businesses operating in the Gambia or whether policymakers make that into policy, that is entirely up to Gambians. But what is important, what we were doing, was we look at what is right for these old women that we are working on a land that we were legally allocated to do our project, well, what would you have done? Are you capable of sending a 67-year-old woman back home with nothing and you go and run a multi-million dollar project? Where is your consent? So we're doing this purely on our own business ethics and our consent. Doing it for Allah Ta'ala. Okay? When we touch down, but I broke down. Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gumsel, Yaibarom. Alba, <laughs> 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 56 branches more so the Gambia Jack. Huh? Ka. Gambia Kono and in Gambia Bantala Bangol. Nka Kono Kia Beret. Kodo Sifa Sifa for Falindiro for Nadi Lata Memena Kodi Topoton in Kodi Maro. Janum number one in Yonta. And Nun for another another enterprise is Sotali. Wall of Golam Nintuko, Domoro Fanan Kol Fanan De Fira de Dadi Man in Domoro Nilfan Petiat. Gambia Dauda Yalom of Mufa Kendol Sotali. Ha, what more? Ha, a felon. I left a yell and candle every night. Yalabuka Nilakola, Yalandel Chosano. 